Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve a simultaneous linear differential equation with constant coefficient. The two equations are given. The first equation can be written as dx minus y equal to 0. And the second equation is dy plus x equal to 0. Now, the first equation we are going to multiply by d. So, first equation into d gives us d square x minus dy equal to 0. And second equation we will write as it is. That is dy plus x equal to 0. By adding both the equation, we can cancel plus dy and minus dy. So, the remaining part of the equation is d square x plus x equal to 0. We eliminated y. Now, it is d square plus 1 into x equal to 0. From this, we can write the auxiliary equation which is m square plus 1 equal to 0 and m square equal to minus 1 and m is equal to plus or minus i. We can compare this with alpha plus or minus i beta. The value of alpha is 0 and value of beta is 1. Now, the complementary function is nothing but e power alpha t. This equation is in the form of dx by dt and dy by dt. So, in place of x, we have to write t, bracket open, c1 cos beta t plus c2 sin beta t. Now let's replace the value of alpha which is 0 and beta which is 1. So we get c1 cos t plus c2 sin t. So our complementary function is, this first part is 1. So c1 cos t plus c2 sin t. Now complete solution is usually y is equal to c f plus p i but here we are solving the equation which is in terms of x. So our complete solution x will be c f plus p i and in the right hand side we don't have any function it is 0 so p i is 0. So our complete solution x is c1 cos t plus c2 sin t. So we got the one part of the solution. Now we have to get the another solution y for that. We can use any of the equation. Suppose if I use the first equation from here directly I can get y. So dx by dt minus y equal to 0. So I have to get dx by dt from this. Already we got a solution. Now differentiating with respect to t. So we get dx by dt equal to c1 into minus sin t plus c2 into cos t. Now substituting this in the first equation dx by dt minus y equal to 0. So from the first equation we get dx by dt minus y equal to 0. From this y equal to dx by dt and therefore y equal to minus c1 sin t plus c2 cos t. So we got the solution y. So we got two solution one is x which is c1 cos t plus c2 sin t and y is minus c1 sin t plus c2 cos t.